I just got licked. I got a warthog lick on my knee. <laughs> Only on GMAS. Yes. Things that only happen. Uh, Christy Morcom is here from Wildlife at World Zoo, and you brought us some cute little babies. I did. And, you know, it's just an unfortunate name, warthog. I know. Because that face is pretty cute. They're really precious. Tell me about this animal. So these warthogs are found in the sub-Sahara. These girls are only a couple months old, and they're going to get a lot bigger. The females can be anywhere from 100 to 150 pounds. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. And the males can be over 300 pounds. Mm. No. So what's that relationship like, the male and female? How do they get along? So they get along really good. They're gonna, the females and their young are gonna live in sounders, and uh, which is a group of warthogs. Okay. And they're gonna live underground a lot of times. Uh, people are really surprised when they find that out. But what they'll do is they'll either take over burrows or they'll dig a burrow of their own. Okay. And they're gonna have their little piglets underground. They're gonna seek underground when it's really hot mm -hmm. and when they're being pursued by a predator. Oh my, so they've got their hiding cave yes, of sorts. Yes, exactly. And what they'll do when they go underground is they'll actually back up only exposing their tusks so they're less vulnerable to oh, those predators. So they're ready to yes. attack. Um, they are enthusiastic eaters. <laughs> they are. Did you bring them hungry this morning or is this just normal? <laughs> this, this is a pig thing. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they love to eat and it's really fun. You can actually see Betty over here. We have Betty and Wilma kneeling down. They mm -hmm. have little uh, callus fat pads on their wrists. So oh. when they bend down, it's going to protect their wrists and it's going to help them root around. And those tusks are going to help them dig up different plants and roots. And like I mentioned <laughs> earlier, they'll use it for self-defense. Now, female tusks stay pretty small, but male tusks can grow to be over two feet. Um, they have an odor. <laughs> What's that about? They do. They Brandon, do. Come in and pet this little guy. We have, a, we have a guest, Brandon. No, he says no. He says no. Yeah. So they do have a little bit of a warthog odor. <laughs> <laughs> it's just its thing. It's yeah. essence. And that tail, I mean, that tail is adorable. Their tails are so cute. So when they run, they actually stick them straight in the air like little flags. Oh, my, like a little antenna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Helps them locate each other. If you've ever oh. seen the Lion King, Kumba does the same thing. It's really cute, especially when you have little piglets running in a line and they all have their tails sticking straight up. So we have to tell the people, you know, it's summertime. The kids are out. They're probably looking for a place to be. Wildlife World Zoo, if you have not been. I mean, obviously, they're our friends. We see them every single week here on Good Morning Arizona. But go out and see them there. So what's your pet project? What's your favorite right now? The warthogs. Oh, they yeah, <laughs> they're definitely my favorite. But mm -hmm. if anyone has any youngsters that love animals, right now on our Facebook page, we're running another contest for our safari camp oh. because our June camp sold out. So now we just opened up a July, and we're giving away a $500 scholarship for a kid to attend for free. All the details are on our Facebook page. Awesome. Christy, thank you. Thank you. Uh, good luck getting back with the warthogs. Yes, I know. <laughs>